MARTA buses continue to run through Northwest Atlanta, just like they have for decades. But only feet away from this bus stop, at the corner of Bolton and Marietta Roads, lies a piece of Atlanta's early transit history, abandoned and forgotten. This tunnel is one of the few pieces of infrastructure left of a streetcar route known as the River Line. But to truly understand why it's here and its significance, you have to look back more than 120 years in the past. The tunnel's keystone indicates the year it was built, 1896. Early streetcar systems were being constructed all over the U.S. and the world. The river line was originally part of the Atlanta and Chattahoochee River Railway Company. This Atlanta Constitution article from 1891 talks about how modern the new electric cars would be and how developers hoped the line would make this area along the banks of the Chattahoochee a riverside resort destination. The dreams of a riverside resort were never quite realized, but the line did become an important part of Atlanta's transit system. It would change hands several times over its history. Following a fatal accident, the Chattahoochee River Railway Company was dissolved and the Collins Park and Belt Railroad was established. It carried both freight and passengers, and apparently some of those passengers weren't even alive. Special funeral cars brought the dead here, to Hollywood Cemetery along Hollywood Road in Northwest Atlanta. Eventually, the line would fall under the control of the Atlanta Rapid Transit Company, and ultimately the Georgia Railway and Power Company, better known today as Georgia Power. You can see just how many streetcar routes Atlanta had. They're represented in green on this map from the 1940s. It started here at the city's historic Five Points intersection. This impressive overhead shot shows just how busy this area was in the 40s. Streetcars were everywhere, definitely a far cry from what it looks like now. After leaving downtown, the river line proceeded northwest, rolling through neighborhoods like Riverside and Bolton. Eventually, it passed through this tunnel, going under the former Nashville, Chattanooga, and St. Louis Railway before terminating at the Chattahoochee River. This was about a 15-mile journey, but unfortunately, that journey would eventually come to an end. In 1943, Mayor William B. Hartsfield, the man who Atlanta's airport is partially named after, demanded all streetcars be removed from service by 1947. Amazingly, the river line held on a few years after that deadline. In fact, it was Atlanta's last 20th century streetcar route. An Atlanta Constitution article marked its final run in April of 1949. This colorful ad shows what replaced the streetcars, rubber-tired, trackless trolleys. But they wouldn't last either. These days, diesel buses run up and down the former route. Transit companies thought buses were more flexible than the old trolleys. And by the late 40s and early 50s, Americans were hooked on roads and their automobiles. But just because the line is gone doesn't mean clues of its existence aren't still standing. Of course, this abandoned tunnel is hidden in plain sight. The 100-year-old piece of infrastructure goes under the tracks that now belong to CSX. The top of the tunnel still supports the hardware needed to run the electrified wires that powered the streetcars. You can tell the land has changed a lot since that final run in 1949. A landfill sits just to the west, but less than a mile north of this location, another remnant is still intact. This small brick structure is where the line ended. Beginning in the early 1900s, it served as a waiting room and substation for another route that crossed the Chattahoochee and went north to Marietta. Nearby, the foundation of the bridge that spanned the river is still present on this small island. But it's not just infrastructure that remains. This interesting and colorful photo shows the last piece of living history related to the river line. This is Georgia Power Company number 948. It still carries passengers at the Shoreline Trolley Museum in Connecticut. Believe it or not, many of Atlanta's old streetcars ended up in places even farther away than the Northeast. Some were shipped to Seoul, South Korea. You can see a couple of them in this great overhead shot from the 1960s. Back in Georgia, diesel buses, along with a handful of MARTA heavy rail lines, make up the majority of the city's current transit system. But starting in December of 2014, streetcars return to downtown. Right now, the route is only a 2.7 mile loop, but there has been talk of expansion. It's hard to imagine the city ever building as many lines as it once had. Unfortunately, Atlanta's love affair with the automobile hasn't ended just yet. 
So for now, those with an eye on our history and a vision for the future will have to keep waiting, studying what's left of the past and dreaming of what's next.